Hey guys, welcome to this new video on Far Stage Left. Thank you guys for checking out this link. I am here really quick to talk about one of my favorite companies. I have another Ana Luisa haul for you guys. This time it is their holiday sale. So really make sure to take advantage of the link below for Christmas gifts, for your own gift for Christmas. They are exceptional quality, long lasting materials that look brand new almost two years later. I have been wearing this jewelry for almost two years now and again every piece looks like it's absolutely brand new not to mention the brand new pieces I have here to show you I feel so naked without the jewelry so <laughs> let's go this is the key necklace um, I absolutely love it super cute I've seen these necklaces everywhere but a lot of the time I don't really like big clunky jewelry and I feel like the other ones are very similar to that so I really like this one because as you see it's just small and simple very basic I've layered other necklaces around it just to make it look a little more bling um, the last necklace I had I layered that with this one and then a basic chain necklace things like that all right next is the Noah ring you guys know how I am about my basic just gold rings I'm always wearing them definitely a statement piece so it works well with my smaller rings um, kind of like the last one I got which was the big um, the Mara Onyx one I believe and it was black and this one's nice because it counters it really well and these have been working out really well for me going out wise but it still is like if you're a ring person it's perfect for just every day too because it can really be either dressed up or dressed down um, and I, I really love it so there's that one Last up, um, my favorite ones from this collection are the Michelle earrings. These are them right here. They're kind of like big. I thought they were going to be really small when I got them, which I wanted to show um, you. you guys are probably like, those aren't big. <laughs> but for me, I usually just wear like tiny little dangling ones. These are definitely um, more dressed up for me. I have been wearing these out like every night I've gone out since I got this new collection of earrings, I have worn these. Honestly, this whole set, I can just wear this, and I like, from the beginning of this video, I looked completely naked, and now I'm like totally dressed up. So, um, yes, these are the earrings. Um, really big fan, and I just love gold jewelry. Please, please, please make sure to check the link below. Even if you just wanna look, just go and see what the sales are. Holiday sale, perfect for gifts. If you're buying me a gift, I will absolutely accept Anna Luisa. It's my favorite gift to receive. And um, yeah, so this is what I got for you guys today. Don't forget to check them out. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy the roll call coming up. Okay. Mm, thanks, guys. Hey, guys. I am doing the roll call challenge on um, Far Stage Left today. It is something that people have been like telling me to do for a while now, and I just haven't tried it. Um, I actually, that's a lie, I, I did try it a few years ago. I filmed it, I edited it, and then I was watching it and I was like, who do I think I am? Why am I doing this? And I deleted it. And now I'm <laughs> looking back at it again, I still kind of am, who do I think I am? But I just feel like I can just make it more fun now. So I actually used a bunch of the questions that you guys gave me, and I have a list here in front of me of some of those questions, and I'm going to answer them with what role I feel that relates the most to me. Um, I chose just like my favorite 12 because I was struggling and I had like a lot of like random things that just made no sense. And obviously this is a small wall. So I just chose my top 12 in whatever capacity that means. So that's what we're doing. And I am ready to go. Okay. The first question is which role was my family's favorite role. Um, that, one's, that one's hard. No, no, it's not. It's not. Okay. Um, Millie Dillmau. Definitely. She just was really fun, family friendly. I mean, it's Millie. Everyone loves Millie. And my parents just, it was my senior year show in high school. And my parents loved her. And just the show in general. This is the one I talk about the most still. I'm pretty sure that it is still, it's either a picture of me as Annie or a picture of me as Billy as my dad's screensaver. So it was always one of those two. Next is my favorite costume. That one's hard too because I've been blessed with some very amazing costume designers in my life. Like college, high school, regional community, everywhere. I've gotten very lucky with my costumes. But I, I definitely have a favorite. <laughs> and it is 
Uh, it's gotta be the witch. Into the Woods, most unique, so cool. I wore it at the Jimmy Awards. Um, it was just like, everyone loved it. It was just my favorite. Um, act one and act two, believe it or not. They're both just great costumes. I'm gonna put a picture here just so you get the gist. But yes, Cece Ingram is a costuming genius. Um, and this whole show was stunning. Um, this question was interesting. I haven't ever been asked this question, but role I will never live down. Um, that one is, it's definitely gonna be him. Sharpay Evans and High School Musical, which was so fun. One of my favorite shows, roles I've ever done, because it's just a really good time. If you've done High School Musical, you get it. It's just fun on stage. Um, but I got teased um, for this for a really long time. I'm probably teased to this, to this day because I think I'm a very um, Sharpay Evans type. But a lot, I think I consider myself to be a lot nicer. But um, this one comes up a lot and I don't think I will ever live her down. Next is um, what I feel the funniest role is that I did. Um, and that one's also hard. But we are gonna go with uh, Janet from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Not only because she's funny and has very funny moments, this whole show is just hilarious. I feel it was extra funny. I actually did it over COVID and it was a Zoom, a Zoom show. So we did everything. We did costumes, we did music, everything. We recorded all the music before and then we recorded our stuff and they edited it to look like a movie. But I sang um, all of Touch a Touch a Touch a Touch Me by myself um, on a screen. I didn't have an acting partner because he um, wasn't wasn't there. So it was, um, I think it's really fun. I still watch it today and it makes me laugh because I'm just like, how did, how did we do that? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with Jana. Jana's on this one. <laughs> um, next is the most miscast role or what I felt I was miscast in, which interestingly enough, um, what I would choose isn't, isn't up here. I look at these and I'm like, oh, these make a lot of sense. But, um, the one I would choose isn't here, which is um, Grandma Zidal and um, Grandma Zidal in Fiddler on the Roof, which was a, a great learning experience for me, but I will probably never play that again. I'd be very interested to see who would ever cast me in that again. I was honored and it was a great time, but no, I guess if I have to choose one from this list, I don't even know why I'm picking this one up because it's like ridiculous, but I, I feel like where this is coming from is if I was going to play a Disney princess, I feel like it's surprising that this is the only one up here because I think I'm very castable as a Disney princess, but this is the only one I've officially done so far. Um, I can't talk about that yet. I don't think that this, this, is, this is surprising to me because I see myself as many other Disney princesses first. So if I had to choose, this one. Next is most challenging role I've had to play. And I'm gonna have to start reusing some because there are more questions than there are up here. And it is definitely this one. Um, I had a great time playing the witch and I actually went to the Jimmy Awards um, with the witch and I got to sing that at the Jimmy Awards. Um, but it was very hard. It's hard, I don't know how to explain it. It's obviously hard to play like a mother of a child that like, you know, you've stolen and dies and all these horrible things that happen to the witch. Um, it was also very hard for me to just get myself into the um, embodiment of who the witch is in act one. That was something that was very hard for me to pick up initially. Um, and it was a huge challenge and my director challenged me a lot, um, but she ended up being one of my, uh, one of my favorites for sure. I mean, how can Into the Woods not be? It's classic. <laughs> Um, this is the role I still sing in the shower, which was interesting because um, I sing all of these. Surprisingly enough, I think it's gotta be um, Carolyn um, because I sing the Bridges of Madison County everywhere I go because it's one of my favorite musicals. And I feel very lucky to open a part of this musical because it was, it was really beautiful. Um, but I still sing all of these songs like just every day in my everyday life because it's just so stunning. Obviously I sing High School Musical every day. I probably sing uh, this way more than I should. I sing this because in my book, Footloose because it's Footloose. I mean, I could go through all of them for different reasons, but um, this one's probably um, the most common. 
The role that I most want to do again, um, all of them, because they're all amazing, but in particular, um, Reno Sweeney is at the top of my list. Um, I played her when I, I think I was 17 or 18, um, and I want to play it in like 10 more years, I think. Or I, could, I would play it now, I would play it tomorrow if I was asked to, but I do definitely want to do it when I'm like closer to the age of Reno. Um, this is a role I feel like I could play for a really long time, and she's just so fun, the music is so great. Um, such an iconic role, and I would play this for the rest of my life if I had the choice to. So definitely, definitely Reno. This question is favorite cast, and I, I want to preface this by saying I have loved almost every single one of my casts for very different reasons. I've gotten very lucky to really never have been an incredibly dramatic cast, and I've just had a great time with everyone always. Um, but obviously, um, Footloose, uh, Ariel Moore in Footloose, uh, the cast was just so amazing. I was at a theater I'd never really worked at before. Um, my boyfriend was Ren, so um, I met him in the show. My best friend Audrey was playing my best friend Rusty. Um, my other best friend was playing Willard. Um, and it was really just a very tight-knit cast with a lot of people that I was very close with for a lot of different reasons, um, which makes this like very, very close to my heart. Um, and just this whole cast, this role, the crew, everything was just a great experience overall. Next is the role that I can't do again. I mean, I feel like I could do all of these again um, at some point in my life. I don't see a reason why I can't with any of them. But I mean, probably just because of age purposes, it'll be rare that I get to play Veruca again. Um, I'd love to. I was, I was like, I think I was like, I don't remember how old I was when I did this. I was like a teen. But it was, it was so fun. Um, very much felt like me at the time I played it. So I just got to, you know, give live um, John Brock and I's, um, our fantasy says, <laughs> um, the salts. So um, this one probably, I guess, which is sad because um, I, would, I would love to, but I'm probably gonna be more of a Charlie's mom or Violet's mom now, I guess. Gosh, that's weird. Role that I felt like a star. Um, I feel like a star a lot, so this is kind of hard. Um, I most of these I felt that way. I think it definitely Lucille definitely stands out. Um, Judy B. Jones. If you haven't seen the musical, um, this was again one of the most fun things I've ever done. I think I was again like 17, 18. Um, she is such a star just in her own right. Um, so the show is called J.B. Jones, but it might as well just be called Lucille the Musical as far as she knows. Um, and I had a great fun little cast and a great director that I was really close with and I just felt, um, I felt like a star, I have to, I have to say. Um, it's hard, it's, it's, it's definitely bordering with Reno and Billy as well because those two are just, I mean, if you've ever played them, you felt like a star because how, how could you not? Um, but yeah, we're gonna go with, we're gonna go with her. The role I totally nailed. Um, this is also kind of difficult because I, I mean, hopefully I, I nailed a, a few of them. Uh, I like, I'd like to think that I did. Um, but one that definitely stands out to me is Jovi and Alf. Um, the song was just right in my wheelhouse. Um, I was like a great age for it. I had a great buddy. Um, and she's just really fun and I felt like I was in that kind of angst teen time of my life and um, I was growing up as becoming an adult and um, she just was kind of really easy to relate to. I had just gotten out of an annoying relationship and um, it, was not, it was not difficult to relate to this character. Um, and I think we had a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go with I Nailed Joby. The most fun role I've played. Um, where is she? Yep. Uh, Mary Lane, Reefer Madness, did this about um, a year or two ago now. Um, if you've seen Reefer Madness, it's just such a fun, fun show. And Mary had got to do a little bit of everything. She got to be sweet, she got to be sassy, she got to be sexy. Um, it was a challenge, it was hard, um, but it was really, really fun. And I would do this for the rest of my life. All of my um, like co-characters were just great friends of mine. and. We had a really, really good time. 
the last question, which is the role that felt the most like myself. Um, I am inclined to say Ariel because, you know, sassy teenager, um, you know, I was dating my boyfriend in the show, I was best friends with my best friend in the show, so this felt um, very much like me in the moment and I was having a great time, but I think overall I'm gonna go with Millie. I just think a lot of everything about her um, resembles a lot of how I, you know, I carry and feel about myself. Very, um, you know, she's so much of a romantic, she has very big dreams, very big plans for herself, very determined, um, confident in everything she does, and I like to think of myself in the same way, um, you know, as much as I can be. But I find a lot of my good qualities of myself in Millie, especially when I played her, so she felt the most like me. Those were all the questions for the roll call challenge. Thank you guys for checking this out. But I love all of them for very different reasons. Um, so yeah, this was challenging, um, but it was fun. I'm glad I did it. So before you guys go, please um, click down the link below and check out Anna Luisa. I'm wearing my jewelry right now. Make sure to check out their holiday sale. I 100% recommend it. And thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's going to help me out so much. And I will see you guys next time I have a video out. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Mwah.